in general, genetics are becoming very popular. And the same is holding true for the cannabis industry. So if you ever wonder what a cannabis breeder actually does, well, this Tobacco University video will go over some of the day-to-day -day activities and qualifications if you're considering pursuing this as a career. All right, let's take a look at a cannabis breeder in action here. So first off, what's the basic job description of a cannabis breeder? Well, they're responsible for uh, breeding plants to purify and strengthen strains, and often can combine strains or enhance specific characteristics. And those could be cannabinoids, those could be terpene profiles, anything like that. We're talking about breeding, we can be looking at vegetative propagation, we can be looking at starting from seeds and pollen transfer. Um, so these are all involved in the breeding process. However, their day-to-day -day activities, just in general, are often looking at studies, the genetic code of the plants, create new plant varieties, eliminate unwanted traits, and that can be as important as creating new varieties as eliminating unwanted traits, something that's deemed not desirable. Develop breeding schedules, maintain a budget and timelines, and utilize appropriate technologies as far as where they're fit. Also add, kind of as you can see here, the level of organization uh, and attention to detail are also important qualities for that person to have, as we can see presented right here. Other qualities that person should have uh, is usually a bachelor's degree in, in crop science uh, or agronomy, which is the study of field crops. In some cases, a master's or PhD may be required, and that can depend, again, on the facility you're choosing to, to apply to or work at. Experience working in a lab is definitely uh, very helpful as far as learning some of the laboratory techniques. Ability to work with appropriate lab equipment and understanding that equipment. Good, communi good communication skills, ability to focus, and willingness to learn. This is kind of where we see those breeding strategies, developing those F1, those F2, those parental strains, uh, developing those new varieties, being able to screen out the ones that aren't performing well, all viable, uh, important qualities this breeder must have. So the connection uh, to cannabis just in general is that cannabis breeders pioneer the industry by creating new uh, cultivars and strains, breeding for certain aspects from within the plant or within different isolated plants. Uh, they're constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible in regards to cannabinoid and terpene content with new developed cultivars, and breeders can experiment with new combinations of terpenes to direct uh, achieve desired uh, results uh, in that plant and ultimately in that end product. So again, this is some great things. We're seeing a lot of uh, great advancement uh, and gets into the genetics. Understanding those can really be a great way to produce new plants and looking at other uh, breeding aspects such as animals or other crops. A lot of that applies to cannabis as well. Uh, so if you like that kind of uh, work, that kind of industry work, this can be a great job opportunity for you to consider. <music>